Hello, GUSD parents. In this short video, I'm going to uh, walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to gain access to your uh, child's college success fund program account. So I need to emphasize at the outset that uh, there are two separate programs. One is called the College Success Fund program, and the other one is called CalKids. These two programs are unrelated. So uh, the GUSD College Success Fund program is sponsored by GUSD, but the CalKids program is sponsored by the state of California. Practically, uh, what this means is that your child may qualify for one or both of these programs. Now, for more information, I suggest that you visit the GUSD website. Across the top, you will see College and Career Services. Click on the pull down menu. And if you click on the College Success Fund, you will find information regarding both of these programs. But now let's get back to our main topic, which is um, showing you how to gain access to your College Success Fund program account. There's usually two ways to do that. If your child was uh, at any point enrolled in the College Success Fund program, you must have received an email from the following email address, don't reply at vistashare.com. So one way to gain access is to simply go to your email account and um, search for, for an email from this address. Once you, once you find that, hopefully you will find it, you will see that this email contains a uh, customized link. And this is, this is, this is that customized link, uh, which means that if you click on it, all you really need to do is that you need to provide a user ID and a password, and then you will be able to gain access to your account. But let's assume that um, you know you have lost this email or for whatever reason you cannot have access to it. There is another way for you to be able to um, you know register and log into your account. Uh, you can simply go to this address. You can you can pause the video, write this down, or alternatively, you can actually again go to your browser and this time type uh, VistaShare GUSD Foro. And as you can see, the first search result is the is that link. Uh, make sure that you see the VistaShare before clicking on it. Just make sure that you verify this is a this is a legitimate um, you know link. It has to show the VistaShare. VistaShare is that technology company that GUSD has has hired to help with these types of access. So once you click on it, you will go to this page. Now you do not have a username or password. The first thing that you have to do obviously is to click register. And for registration, you will need to provide, you know, simply a few pieces of information, including your zip code. You need to provide the student ID. This is GUSD six digit ID. You need to provide a phone number and finally, you will need to provide an email address at the last step. You have to also verify that email address. Once you have completed these steps, please click register and you will be able to enter or log into your account. Now, let's assume that you have your login set up already and you're trying to access it. Once you log into this website, you will see a few pieces of information that I think are important. On the left-hand side, you will find information about the College Success Fund program. Um, key information, it basically lays out all of the detailed elements of the program. It also provides information regarding ScholarShare. This is the program or this is the provider of 529 college savings accounts that you can utilize. You know, there are links to videos in English and Spanish that you can watch and it will walk you through the process of setting up an account. Uh, on this page, you will also see information regarding CalKids. And um, you know, this is this is also important. There's a couple of links you can click on it and you, you will be able to determine whether or not your child is uh, eligible for CalKids uh, program. Now that's subject of a different video that you will see on our page, but right now we are not going to discuss this. I just wanted to also emphasize that while on this page, you can also click up top, you can see it says frequently asked questions. You can click on this frequently asked question tabs and then you will find some information regarding this program. But the main purpose of this, of this portal is to allow you to see 
um, your child's account. So a couple of things you can do here, I just want to briefly go over. You can, first of all, add another child. Let's say you have two or three children who are all qualified in different age ranges, qualified to participate in the, um, in the College Success Fund program. You can simply add another child. All you need to do is again to provide your zip code phone number and of course for this second child you will need to provide their student id and once you do that you will see that the system will create another tile with the name of your child uh, listed there uh, the other thing that you can do on this website is that you can click on link 529 account uh, which means that you have already set up your personal account through scholar share for example and you want to actually now link it to your to your to your um, vista share portal and you can easily do that if you go to our frequently asked questions you will find a step-by-step -step guide on how to link your 529 account so i'm not going to go into that right now um, and finally let's assume that you have already connected your accounts this is what your portal is going to look like So here's just an example. Uh, you see that this family has one child and they have not only uh, a program account, but they have also set up their own 529 account and they have linked this account. So what they see is that uh, in this bottom portion, the gray area, they, they see the value, the current value of the investment made by GUSD uh, when they set up this account on behalf of the, of the beneficiary. And then at some point, the family set up their own 529 account and they have made successive deposits. And now you can see the current value of that deposit. So the $104 in this example, 104 and 25 cents is the value of the program account and $103 and 47 cents is the value of the 529 account on behalf of this participant. So combined, this family has already saved $207 and 72 cents. So this concludes our short presentation. I hope this video has provided helpful information on how to access your Child College Success Fund program account. Uh, but if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us at GUSD and we will be happy to help you with um, any, any piece of information that you need. Thank you.